get on. Mm -hmm. Alright. You've been on for a while now. Yep, it's on, man. Alright, this thing's on. Hello? Hey, what's happening? It's Chef Rick in the kitchen today. This is Chef Matt here with Eat Marketing. Um, we're doing something a little bit different. Matt and I do a chef's challenge. So, I'm gonna do my sandwich. Well, I'm representing here in South Florida. So food! The only rules are, you gotta cook out of the same oven, and the sandwich has to be $5 or less. And you guys are gonna pick the winner. So, um, with that being said, we're gonna use the Turbo Chef Saga this week. And we're gonna do sandwiches, so let's go. Further ado, let's get started. Well, I picked the chicken bami. mi. Um, that's a Vietnamese sandwich. Started happening, got popular in the 50s, and came to the States probably around in the 70s. The sandwich I'm gonna to do today is something that I, I thoroughly enjoy, I and mean, I thoroughly enjoy going to brunch. What I've decided to do today is do something super easy, but it's, it's gonna be super impactful with flavor. Uh, I'm gonna do a smoked salmon sandwich. So, uh, so let's, let's start. start. Okay, so we're gonna do ahead and make the marinade for the chicken now. So I got some chili, I've got some fish sauce, and by the way, if you ever get fish sauce on your clothes, you will smell like a dead fish. A little tip there for you. That's a there. beautiful kitchen in there. All right, you so got, made up there. got my uh, I got my garlic, I got my lime zest, my lime that juice. That was a strong squeeze. And uh, just so you know, fish sauce is a key ingredient to making this marinade. And next, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, on the mandolin. The mandolin. Yeah. I like it. Uh, a little red radish. I was trying to find daikon radish. I would slice my fingers if I ever used that. I have. So, um, yeah, couldn't find daikon radish, so I went, went with red radish. Daikon's at Whole Foods, no offense. All uh, right. Next time I will go to Whole Foods. I went to three stores, by the Anyways, way. Anyways, cutting chilies, okay. More chili. Got Love it. Love the chili. Got Gives some a little spice, spice in there. Okay. Now you're, right. you're, you're developing the slaw a little bit. A little sugar. Vinegar. A lot of vinegar. A lot Probably of, too much, but I won't say I, anything. I like the vinegar. Okay. I like the vinegar. Got a hard squeeze there. Dude. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Okay, so we got our slaw going here, our pickled slaw. Check, check. This, this thing on? Check. All right, my turn. Here we go. Yo, we got our cook tech walk going on right here. A little olive oil in the pan for our pea puree. We're going to slice it, then we're going to dice it. We got those red onions going. I like the depth of red onions, so it gives it a little bit different balance to the plate. The chop chop action, yeah, it looks a little bit bigger because it's elephant garlic. So it's a little bit larger garlic, however, it's a little bit sweeter at the same time. A little mix it up. Um, you're gonna throw it in the pan just till it makes about translucent. And then you wanna add your green peas to it. A face of determination. Saute those up just, just till they get to steam ever so slightly. Oh yeah, now we're getting down to business. We got Pop some bottles. champagne in there, popping bottles. All right, so once we get that done, we're gonna throw a little veggie stock in there. Put in our Vitamix. There we go. All right. Just you don't want a super fine. You want a little texture to it for the dish. Okay. So he's here back. We, we're back. Let's do this. All right. Pulling the, the marinade out of the bag, and I'm looking. I'm looking, and I forgot Nothing, something again. Dude, no dice. Uh, Just I gotta forget at least one thing one time every time. All right. Let's clean up here a little bit. Yeah. Now we're gonna pull the chicken out of the bag, and we're gonna pat it dry. Because we don't Why want because we, we don't want all that extra smoke coming off and messing up our beautiful Turbo Chef. Got it. Understood. Got our grill plate in there, so we're gonna get some nice grill marks and start putting our sandwich together. I got a channel knife here. Do you know what channel what? knife is? I have is? no idea what that yeah, is. Yeah, okay. so I can get some really nice grooves into that. Beautiful you know? though. I see now. I know how they oh, do it. Right. Okay. There we go. Look at that dice. Look how fast you, you see are. How fast? I heard if you don't do it that fast, it does not taste as good. It does. It's got some grill marks on that bad boy. Oh, look at, look at that. that, nice. Look at that. Mm. Uh, uh, I think I need to sharpen my knife though. Yeah, I agree. I'm not gonna lie, when I was recording that, I noticed that. Yeah. All what right. is this, what do you got going on? All right, sriracha a little mayo? sriracha oh. mayo, maybe a touch of lime in there. God, your forearms must be jacked after this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're mixing that up. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it to our squeeze bottle. All right, so we've got some nice Tuscan bread there. It's got a little roasted garlic in the center of it because we're gonna build that depth. So we're gonna toast it off in the Turbo Chef real quick. Now we're getting down to business. We've got our egg. We're doing a sunny side up egg. A little Florida cell. Oh, can't be too careful going on in there. <laughs> All right, take it out. We're gonna hit it with a ring mold, make it look nice and uh, nice and clean. 
Uh, it took about a minute and 25 seconds in the Turbo Chef. Oh, there comes our bread again for the second time just to retoast. Okay, and we're back and we're plating our sandwich. And look at the beautiful char marks on that chicken from the Sada Turbo Chef. How long? It took me three minutes and 15 seconds. Wow, it took you a while to figure that one out. Wow. Anyways, the slaw looks beautiful. Thank you. The and chili you dropped, whoa, it's okay. Whoa, I think it looks like I threw it but almost. Look at that, the cucumbers. Oh, man, that channel knife or whatever you called it. It's, there it's you really go. Didn't make and then mark, that, that sriracha mayo. Mm. Ooh, man, and the that cilantro, cilantro probably too much. Much, but hey. Little chef secret here. Throw a little puree down so your bread doesn't move around on the plate. All right, hit a little puree right on top of there. Nice and smooth. A couple little, couple little movements there. All right, look at that sunny side up there, dude. That's sexy. All right, we're putting our smoked salmon on there. Nice little plating technique. We got a couple heirloom tomatoes to kind of juice up the plate a little bit. They're in season. A couple of blanched peas. Bay. Little extra, a little pea bay right there. A little <laughs> extra sauce on there just for texture. I love that sauce. A uh, little simple arugula, fresh olive oil from the plate to the lips. Here you go. Get down to business. This is freaking messy. What you got? Good luck, Chef Rick. Here you go. Oh. Really need a haircut, but hey. How's the vinegar uh, on Really that? good, the vinegar's good. It goes well with the savory of the chicken breast. I think overall it's delicious, Chef. Hey, did I'll you give get it to some, you. Did you get some of that fish sauce on your shirt? I might have got some fish sauce. I probably should have showered too. Oh man, really good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm not, a mouthful. Good luck, homie. Good after it, dude. What else you got to say, Chef? I'm out. You're out? You good?